Last time on Mary Skelter Finale. For real? Ah, Mary Skelter. What about Hikari? Is, ha is Hikari still dead? A buzz filled the air as we gathered to celebrate our reunion. Mary Skelter reunion. Hey, isn't that that armor we kept leaving in the trash cans? Oh, yeah. How did you get those? I don't know. We just picked it up from another trash can. You don't say. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> if you set something on fire that's on the gallows, aren't you also technically a pyre? Welcome back to Mary Skelter Finale. All of my teams I have brought back to the fourth floor as well as the English language. So Toe is here, Jack is here, and Clara is here. The reason why I ran them all the way back up to like the, the, the farthest point is because I have a bad feeling about this event. So let's go. Oh, this is the th this way. We promised everyone would come. I see. I'd love to see them all soon. Seriously, my heart is about to burst. We're almost there. Beyond this door. We're here. Beyond that glass. Wait. There's something inside the room. What happened? Did they all get merged? Oh no. What? What the hell is that? A dark shadow? Ah, what is that thing? It's getting dark everywhere. Google blah 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 browser. Wait, is that a nightmare? Oh no. Are those my sisters? Wait. Oh, the end is near. H yeah, let's go. Oh wait, no, it's Jack next. <laughs> I'm ready for what's to come. Wait, aren't we already on this marker? Yeah, we're already on it. Hey, Jack, do we still have some time before we meet up with everyone? No, we're almost there. Just beyond this room. <laughs> I wonder how they'll react. Ah! Oh, it's Pyre. Whose scream was that? Maybe something happened to the others. Hurry, everyone. Guys! Yep, that does sound like Massacre Pink times three. Complete with reverb. Oh no, they're attacking Clara's party. Hey, what's that monster? A nightmare? Huh? It's what... <laughs> A Mary Skelter nightmare. Okay, that was like literally the one moment where it made sense to make the joke. A Mary Skelter nightmare. Because it was Mary saying it. Okay. Huh? It had. Looks like a monitor. Looks like it's turning on. Is that Massacre Pink? Oh, Guillotine and Iron Maiden and Gallows. Those wretched monsters from the surface. Brother, Papa, where are you gonna kill Pyre? Brother? Who's your brother? No, Sister Guillotine, Sister Gallows, Sister May, go away, please leave me alone. Hey, leave Pi alone, stupid nightmare. Stop bullying Pi. You guys, don't get too close. We haven't destroyed the core yet. I think we have. Why just you? Kill, kill, kill. Ah. No, go away. I said go. Sleepy, guys. Uh, can we help her? Hurry all there. We can't. Not even Rappy could penetrate these walls. Come on, Nightmare. I'll fight you. It's totally ignoring us. What do we do? I said stay away! 
Hang in there, everyone. Can't we lure it out somehow? Jack, quickly now. Are there any cores nearby? Gretel! Yeah, I don't sense any nearby. Oh no, this darkness is relentless. We move and it follows. I've been trying to distract it, but it's not taking the bait. We're running out of ideas. And we're still stuck in this glass cage. Pyre, pyre! Pants on fire? Th that nightmare is ghastly. What do we do? Even if there were only blood maidens here, the situation is extremely dangerous. Got it. I'll guide everyone somewhere safe. With what? Ice arrows? I don't know. Thanks, little mermaid. Oh, she's actually going to take them to somewhere safe. The camp staff should probably join her. Good idea. See you. We got Miko and the others behind cover, but we've got more pressing issues. Yeah, our friends aren't going to last, last much longer. We got to do something. Trying to think, but I'm, out, I'm running out of time. Ah, uh, curse this unbreakable glass. We must rescue our friends, damn it. No matter how many times we hit the wall, it reforms immediately. Not even the mighty Rapunzel could break through the enchanted wall. What do we do? No, please, sisters, forgive me. Have mercy. They never had mercy on you before. They're not going to have mercy on you now. Ah, hold on, we're coming. That massacre pink monstrosity is about to kill Pi. It looks unstoppable. Do we search for the core so we can combat it? No, we don't have time. Create a diversion for the nightmare? Uh, no, we tried that already. If only we could cloak or hide that Pi girl somehow. Jack. Hey, got a minute? Hi, Toe. As you said, the nightmare is indeed pursuing that Pi girl. Listen, our only chance of saving her is to fool it into thinking she's gone, or finding a new target. New target? Whoever that thing targets is in for a world of hurt. But fooling it? How, though? Wait, I've thought of something. Please stop, stay back. Ah! What the? Pi! Pi, stand up! Brother, 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 brother. Why is it brother? Is Pyre male? Is Pyre actually a boy? Ah, stop! I won't forgive you. You did this to me, Pyre. No! I see. Clara and Gretel's group got held up. Yeah, the nightmare attacked one of their crew members out of nowhere. Honestly, things went south quick. So much for the tender reunion. Hard to come back from such a traumatic, traumatic scene. Cinderella and Red Riding Hood won't be joining us either. Gretel said not to worry and go to go ahead. She wanted the rest of us to gather and debrief. Oh, what? Oh, wrong button. Taking down dev the devouring armada might be our best chance to avenge them. Let's proceed. Jabberwock, was it? You really do look just like him. <laughs> we are twins after all. They're so similar, like a living copy. I should keep my guard up around him. Hmm, are you Gato? Gato, is that you? Ah, it's been a while, Jabberwock. Uh, happy to see you're still alive. I thought you looked familiar. But how long has it been? You've aged. Looks like you've got, had some rough years. Yes, lo lots changed since then. I'm not as spry as I used to be. But to tell you the truth, I'm just happy to be here. Is Gato younger than he looks? Yo, Jack, how you been? Looks like you've grown a lot, kid. Haru, you think? But between you and me, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. Ah, they're still saving your skin? You're lucky to have them, but they're lucky to have you too. Jack, good luck out there. You'll need it. Wait, I'm being cynical. Just survive. What? Cynical, you're being a tsundere. I will, pro I promise. Nice to see you, Kadowaki. Hey, are, are we forgetting that Clara's team is currently dying on the other side of the mirror? No one? Anyone? Are we forgetting? Dying on the other side of the mirror? No? Okay. Ueshima. Ah, uh, it feels like ages since I've talked to another human. Ah, uh, Kadowaki, why do you say that? I'm right here. We just had this conversation. 
Sorry, sorry. Totally forgot about Klutzy. Mimi, that's so rude. Hope you enjoy your meatless stew at dinner. Crap, now I've done it. Meals are the only thing I'm living for these days. Sounds pretty awkward over here. But happy y'all made it out okay. Yeah, shame about the glass dividers. Oh, didn't someone say something about a nightmare around here? Is it okay now? Hey, cut a walkie. Don't bring that up, remember? Oops. <laughs> it's fine. The nightmare's not coming back. Really? Um, how do you know? Well, it was Massacre Pink's nightmare. It's because her master, also known as Papa, is here with us. Ooh! What? Wait, seriously? Jack? Yes, I'm sure of it. How, where did this come from? You must be Jack. Please explain yourself. Each tower is normally guarded by a nightmare. It'll aggressively pursue us if we're seen. But if we lose it, then it goes back onto its rounds. But the one that attacked Pyre just chased and chased her, even when she got out of the darkness or left the room. I've never seen one act like that before. Chasing one target instead of everyone in sight. Really unusual. That's a good point. That behavior, that behavior is atypical for nightmares. Mary Skelter nightmares. There, I made the joke now. <laughs> it got me thinking. What if this master that presumed the presumed warden of the devouring armada tower is ordering the nightmare? Right. That would explain how the nightmare acted with specific instructions. But what makes you suspect he's here? Because too many irregularities have been occurring since. The moment we set foot up here. For example, Massacre Pink's been on our tails the whole time. Even enough to wait for us at every orb we've encountered. But they've had plenty of earlier chances to do us harm. Like when we were at camp. My guess that's because their master was among our ranks. But didn't we engage with Massacre Pink on several occasions? Sure we did, but during every fight, each one of them muttered about some objective she had been given. Right, they did take umbrage because we encroached upon their domains. Who uses the word umbrage? Okay. I mean dominions, okay. Yeah, that's true. Besides, Massacre Pink always left before we could question them. Almost like Master rushed them out of there. One more thing, the girl seemed especially interested in Alice. The first thing Guillotine asked us when we got to the surface was, which of us was Alice? What? Why her? Wish I could tell you. Judging by what Massacre Pinks told us, they both fear and respect their master. But if they get flustered, there's a shift. Each girl rejects her protocol and acts on their own. That led me to think of how much of a headache that must be for Master. If they happened to kill Alice on accident, how could this Master intervene? I figure his best bet would be to find a way to keep watch over her directly. I see. The logic is valid. The next question, who or what is their Master? Papa, whatever. Jabberwock, don't call him Papa. Jack, do you have a prediction? Yes, I do. What? Seriously? All along, there was one person who saved Alice from the brink of death. Brink of death? That's right. When we first arrived on the surface, Alice nearly died trying to save me. Hikari warped us away shortly after. <gasps> Papa is Hikari! But someone healed Alice when she was unconscious on the floor of a jail tower. Then they left her. Why would someone treat her, but not stick around to see if she's okay? Seems strange, especially in jail. Looks to me like whoever it was wanted Alice to live but didn't want their identity to be known. Mary, however, saw this whole thing. Didn't you, Mary? Actually, she didn't. Uh, you're gonna put me on the spot here? Uh, talk to Jack, talk to Jack! Uh, yeah, it's true. I saw whoever healed Alice with my own eyes. Uh, so who was it? The person who gave Alice treatment is... Gato. What? Really? 
Gato? Now hold the phone. Where's this coming from? I was with Chiaki at that time. I hadn't even met Alice yet. Even if I had, I would have certainly taken her somewhere safe. Isn't that obvious? Gato, was it? Have you noticed nothing in what you've said has refuted Jack's points? Well, there's no proof you weren't there before you met Hitsuka, and we have a witness. Well, Mary must be mistaken. I swear I never did such a thing. No, Gato. You were there. I have proof. Proof? There's no way! When Alice was unconscious, Gato left behind evidence of his misdoings. Um... We're getting the bad end first, okay? The answer is broken high-end pocket watch, because this doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense, and this doesn't make sense. So let's go bad ending, and I'll just reload. What is it? Okay, you asked for it. Huh? This wasn't the proof I had in mind. It's as if someone put the wrong proof in my hands, as if I was just a player character. <laughs> Wait, this isn't it. What's going on, Jack? Hurry up or they won't... Um, uh... Jack, I won't forgive you for this. Never did I expect you to take me for some criminal, much less after we've reunited. Ah? Huh? I've never been so offended. I'm appalled. I can see I'm unwelcome here. I never want to see you again, Jack. Why does it sound like we're going through a breakup? Hold on, it's dangerous out there. Huh? Gato? What's wrong, princess? I just saw Gato storm off. Oh dear, what does this mean? Sorry about all that, everyone. Damn it, how could I mess up so bad? I should have so showed them the proof. What the? Earthquake? Stay calm and... No, it's, it's not an earthquake. Look outside. The tower's starting to crumble. <laughs> Gato got so pissed off that he crumbled like, You know what? You don't trust me? Hmm, I'm gonna break the whole tower around you. Uh, the lower levels are collapsing. What's going on? Crap, we'll, we'll be buried under the rubble. Suddenly, the ground rumbled from the tremor of an enormous blast so powerful it nearly knocked us off our feet. The force of the blast slammed us against the walls, and everything went black. Game over. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this right now, shall we? So let's select the correct answer now, and that should be the broken high-end pocket watch. Now, how? Like, what's the logic? Remember how Gato, when Gato got the pocket watch back, he's like, "I thought I lost it. How'd you find it? It's been so long ago, but I kind of re recall an event like that." So yeah. It's the high-end pocket watch. That's... How? I thought you returned it to me the other day. Sorry, the one we gave you back to you... The one we gave back to you was, um, a fake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary made a copy uh, with a match thingy, right? This is the real one. You see, the pocket watch I gave you is a decoy. Mary created with one of her... Mary created with one of her matches. I have not seen this tower in 10 million years. <laughs> Gonna take out one of my matches. What are you doing, Mary? Shh, keep quiet. Just imagine the pocket watch. A watch just came out of the smoke. Is this what Mary's capable of? Something like that. So Mary, where'd you find this? Oh, I remember when remember when Alice was really hurt? I found this on the ground near her legs. Really? The only explanation is that someone dropped this there. Looks out of place otherwise. Mary, are you telling me you not only took someone's watch, but you used a match to replace it? Well, I thought it was rude to leave it. I figured I could find its owner. 
Well, we can save the details for later. We're, we're at the good part, okay? Continue. Oh, Mary. <laughs> so this pocket watch, she said it was gifted to you as a reward. There only exists one in the world. That could only mean one thing, Gato. The only person who could have healed Alice is you. Forgive me. Which makes you Massacre Pink's Papa. <laughs> Wait, uh, just hold on a minute. It's because a Martian snuck up behind me. Uh, like a coward, I ran at the first sign of danger, even though I was treating her. I feel awful, awful for leaving Alice behind. But why keep it a secret? You deserve thanks for saving her. No need to hide it. It wasn't intentional. At the time, I hadn't checked. I, I, it hadn't clicked that the girl I healed was Alice. I just saw someone on the verge of death, and I thought I should help them. Press X to doubt. Call it an omission of truth, but nothing malicious, that's all. Omission, huh? So, Gato, you claim you left because you were threatened by a Marchin, right? Yes, that's correct. That's a lie, because you, kn you know exactly how to avoid Marchins, Gato. What? When that Marchin attacked us the other day, you were the only one who didn't join. It, e it didn't even try to attack you. Those are coincidences. Mere conjecture. I was lucky to escape with my life. Actually, avoiding detection by a Marchin is impossible without a special power. Mary's power? And I promise you, I do not have it. True, you might not. But I suspect that you possess a device to get around that. Exactly what device are you talking about? Enough of the assumptions already. I don't know what Gato uses to ward off Marchins, but I know where it's hidden. The device you hid, Gato. Uh. Um. It's. God. Uh. So he's facing us, right? He's facing us. So it must be in the right pocket because his hand is in there, right? I mean, that's the only... That's the only logical thing. So let's try right pocket. I don't actually know, but... Uh, we, we, we only have the clues that are given to us and all we can see is a hand in the pocket. So right pocket. Gato, could you show me what's in your right pocket? What's in my pocket? Nothing special. I only carry a memo pad for use during explorations. Yeah, it, <laughs> his hand is still in his right pocket. If it's nothing special, then who cares? Don't you want to prove your innocence? Jack's right, man. Seems conspicuous if you don't show us. Well, it's more of a diary than a memo pad. It has some personal thoughts. Which I'd rather not disclose. You don't need to show us what's in it. You just need to show us what it is. But you have stuff in there, don't you? Something in your pocket that awards off the merchants. Am I right? Ah, fine. Whoa, what's that? Is that half an orb? Does that keep the merchants away? No, this is more of a charm for me. I didn't want to admit that I relied on something like this. If it's a charm, then it doesn't really work, right? Well, why don't you prove it by walking into the tower? I bet you'll just be fine in there. You've been acting so bold lately, Jack. Oh, no, that's Snow White. You've been acting so bold lately, Jack. Seems unthinkable compared to how he used to be. What do you say? Scared to check in on the Martians? Oh, well... Besides, how did you know the terms for Marchants, Nightmares, and Blood Maidens from the get-go? Those terms originated from the underground. If you were from the surface, wouldn't you call them contaminated? Also, you seem to ask a lot of questions that went beyond curiosity. It's time for you to spill what you know. Ah, uh, you got me. This indeed does have part of Theophile's female plant. Which has the ability to fend off Marchants. Wait a minute. I is that part of the jail? The root of the moon? How did you get that? Why were you hiding it from us this whole time? 
My acquisition of this item was happenstance, but lo and behold, it's the perfect tool to survive jail. With this, the denizens recognize me as part of the jail itself. The Martians steer clear. I can't just share valuable information like that with someone I just met. It could be stolen from me. That's why I kept it hush. As time passed, I knew that you would only accuse me of affiliating with Massacre Pink, so I choose, chose not to share it. See? It was just a matter of poor timing all around. Gato, I'm sure that all makes sense to you, but I'm not falling for it. Yes, all of your concerns could have been considered had you, had you been open with them. But now that your lies are being uncovered, all you're doing is making excuses to preserve your innocence. The truth will come to light. Even if I had no way to prove my innocence, you have to see that it was all timing. You just don't get it, do you? Ha! Huh, nope. Maybe you've forgotten. Now that we know you have that little artifact, the whole fleeing Alice because of the marching angle looks suspect. Ah! Whoa, Jack, hold no punches! Jack, hold no punches! Tumbelina, return to monkey! <laughs> looks like Jack's grown a bunch since we last saw him. Gato, why don't you cut the act and come clean? It's true I fled after healing Alice and that I possessed Theophile's female plant. However, that is no proof I am Master King's <laughs> I am Massacre Pink's master or Papa either. <laughs> Don't call him Papa Gato. Why is everyone calling him Gato? I mean Papa. None of your proof has corroborated such an outlandish claim. If you have some, then ha now's the time to show it. Right, I did have proof a while ago, but that option's currently gone. Gone? It was Pyre, the girl in Clara's group. I bet she'd know Master's face and voice. That would have helped. True, one of Massacre Pink's own calling me Papa or Master would be proof. But she's not here, is she? What's the point in carrying on with this? Jack, if you cannot prove it, then would you recant your accusation? I deserve some due diligence. See? No proof, right? Why don't we leave this conversation for another time? No, I won't. What? Why? There's nothing else. Papa. <laughs> okay, Pyre can call him Papa. Only Pyre can call him Papa. Also, they have the same hair. Black and white. Oh! Papa! Ooh -hoo. What are you doing here? Papa! What is the meaning of this? That my nightmare claimed to have killed her. Oh, did I hear that right? How unfortunate. Oops, that's Clara. Gretel, Clara, everyone. What's going on? Damn it, why? Sorry you had to watch this, Pi, but please be honest with us. Is Gato your papa? Gato is cat in Spanish. Is the cat your dad? Yes. This man is papa. Oh god, I'm gonna be saying papa a whole lot. No! I don't know her. I most definitely am not. Gato, I wanted to resolve this issue in peace without cornering you. Why? But they told me they killed her! That can't be! Are you telling me the nightmare lied? That's preposterous! Mary Skelter liars! No, the nightmare was fooled into thinking Pi was dead. Oh wait, did they make a match? Please stop! Ah! What the? Pi! Pi, stand up! Papa, brother. Ah, Yamete. I won't forgive you. You did this to me. Pa. No. Ring. No hurt, Pi. Sleeping Beauty. Thank goodness. We had to think fast, or she would have been done for. Now I think I found the light. Toes, the one who suggested that we hide her. That's when I got to thinking of a way to make her disappear. 
Ah, uh, okay, fine. Honestly, I don't usually do this for people I don't know, but after what I saw... Mary? Here, Jack, maybe you can put this to good use. A match? Oh, I see what you mean. Could I borrow a match if someone's life depending on it? Well, I was gonna give you one anyway. Oh, thanks, Mary. Okay, the nightmare's next to that wall. Otsu, punch a wall near the nightmare with everything you've got. I can't, Jack. Even if I were to use all my might, it's gonna patch itself back up. That's fine, please. We don't have time. Ah, very well. I'm not sure what you're planning, but here I go. Ha! Ah, Hadouken. And then he throws the match through the hole. Nice, 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 nice. There's a hole! Mary, now! GG? <laughs> lucky, lucky nightmare! Got something good for you! Here, you'll get a kick out of this! So the nightmare saw a hallucination that Pi had died and departed thinking it completed its mission. <laughs> so Compile Hard suddenly found some budget and started paying the voice actors again. Seriously? Sorry, princess. Jack swore me to secrecy, I promised. We had to keep it secret from you so we could confront Gato, Little Mermaid. Precautions were taken to ensure that no one would jeopardize our plan. The rest of you can come now. <sighs> we can finally participate. I told you not to come out until I give the signal! Sorry, singling out their leader is a tricky task. But now you can show your faces. <laughs> this is quite the gathering. Why don't you tell us the truth now? Gato, you just admitted to ordering the Nightmare to kill Pi. That's undeniable. This means you're Massacre Pink's master. <laughs> <laughs> Your face! Oh dear, you've hit the nail on the head, my boy. Well done. Great detective work. However, you should have brought Pyre in from the start. You're cruel, Jack. Couldn't do that. If you knew Pyre was alive, then you would have found a way to slip out. All to order a hit on Pyre again. You wouldn't have talked if she were dead. I wasn't gonna take that chance. We had to line everything up, or else we wouldn't have gotten the confession out of you. <sighs> Gato. It's time to start talking. You're gonna tell us all about the Devouring Armada Tower and Massacre Pink's Nightmare. <laughs> I was deceived by insolent mortals. I failed in taking that monster's word for it. Gato, is this your true nature? Shut up! All those J's and your unbearable company gone to waste! When at last I have reached the truth! Do you have anything to do with Guillotine's attempt on Mary's life? <laughs> you caught on to that, did you? Guess I underestimated you. I couldn't figure out your motive, but I had a feeling you had a hand in it. The tell was her coming while we were sleeping. Guillotine's too haughty to do that herself. She'd never. I should have killed Mary myself. Gato. What are you trying to do? I want revenge. God damn, okay. English voice acting represent. Holy crap. I felt that in my soul. I wanted vengeance against this cursed planet using Theophile's female plant over and over and over again. However, every time. Someone uses their witchcraft and resets this world! Huh? The world keeps getting reset? I mean... I mean, we did it last time. <laughs> we did it last time with Otsu's tower, right? That was witchcraft. That was... Resetting the world so that... Little Mermaid doesn't die, right? So that was our time, but what do you mean every time? I couldn't give up, so I've wandered upon these lands dozens and dozens of times to discover the cause! 
be set. Like turning back time? That is only possible with witchcraft. But Gato, you've contributed to it too. Ah, Theophile's female plant. Since he was part of the pistol, witchcraft doesn't affect him. Correct. I am uninhibited by the planet's confinement. I exist alone in a flow of time which cannot be shared. He's done this over and over for decades. Gato is the only one who aged. No matter how many times I repeated myself, I couldn't avoid it. But I finally found it. The key to disabling the repetition. It ends with the death of a woman named Alice. Then why'd you heal her then? Why'd you heal Alice? Me? You could have ended this game like when we were level five. Just like what, uh, just like what, uh, Guillotine said. Well, you are just the trigger. Next in the sequence is the unraveling of Charlotte's mind. I lose my mind? Then shortly afterwards, the power of witchcraft reignites. It resets the world's mimicry a hundred times stronger than usual. Why does that happen? Who's causing it? It's as if some invisible force is at work. It's as if you're in a video game. I deduced that the cause of the reset was located in the underground jail where Alice and Charlotte were, so I left you be. As you made your way to the surface, I joined so that I could observe. Then I found you, Mary. Me? <laughs> what? Every time he does something, Mary lights a match and it gets reset. Is that it? Is that it? There's a connection between Alice, Charlotte, and Mary, along with Mary's blood ability. The match somehow maxes the core's powers. And here they are, proving my hypothesis. It's all they're doing. So Mary using witchcraft resets the world? Uh, I haven't reset anything. Mary, you alone possess the power to reset the world. And indeed you have, over and over again. If I let you live, the cycle will continue. Hence, why I ordered your death. But I won't stop at Mary. Now that I know the truth, I don't care if any of you live. The rest of you could die for all I care. But Guillotine, Iron Maiden, and Gallows all ignored orders and failed me. So I molded them into a nightmare to do my bidding. But even that failed. Useless! What a selfish monster. This man is lost. Gotta why? You worked so hard to make the world a better place. Was it all an act? Make the world a better place? <laughs> oh, sorry for laughing, Jabberwock, but you sound so foolish. <laughs> Jabberwock, this world is Done. Humanity is lost. Gato. I had faith in this world. I gave myself to it, but I was betrayed. No. Maybe I never had faith in the first place. You mean, with Massacre Pink? That's right. Hearing their names fills me with enough rage to destroy this world! Sorry. But I'm stopping you here. Gato, you're coming with us. To where? Where are we taking Gato? To the camp? It's not like there's a police station anywhere here. You're trash. This isn't the end of this. You're useless to me, Alice. I've never been happier to be useless. You think you can make a fool of me? Yes. Yes, I believe we can. Did he vanish into the wall? Can you guys stop letting him do that? He must be using the plants. Gato, wait! <laughs> Till next time, insects! I no longer need to hide behind my act. I'm 
must enact my plan to destroy this planet. Damn it. He's gone. Guys, Kato's trying to destroy the world. Let's find him. Oh, Jack! He vanished. We have no idea where Gato escaped. But we should return to camp. We'll plan accordingly. Wait up! Boss! <laughs> Finally they get to meet. Finally! Clara, you're safe! Boss, I missed you so much! Finally! After how many hours they get to see each other again? Me too. Sorry. Having my apprentice save me. The only thing that matters is you're alive, boss. You idiot. What's the point if you get hurt? Boss, I worked so hard to get here. So, so hard. I yes. When all of this is over, I will give you every praise under the sun. <laughs> oh, head pats. He means head pats. Okay. Wait, everyone. The darkness is growing. Is the storm also approaching? What? Is it another nightmare? Boss! Clara, take this as an order from Boss to his dumb apprentice. Listen up good. Promise me you'll live! That's all you could say for yourself? We searched for Gato all over, but he slipped from our grasp. Maybe we should try the fifth floor instead. The Massacre Pink Nightmare chased us all the while through the tower, making it tough for us to explore. To keep everyone from danger, we turn to the tip of the Salvation Tower and set up camp. Oh, so we're back in the Salvation Tower. Like, we're not in the Devouring Armada anymore, we're just at the portal. I assume everyone else is doing the same. It, sinks, it stinks to retreat, but there's not much we can do. We're running out of time, now that Gato told us the truth. I'm sure he'll kick into destroy the world mode. Okay. But exactly how he plans to carry out his plan... Huh? How he plans to carry out his plan is still a mystery. Witchcraft allows you to create worlds out of mimicry. But does that make the opposite possible true? Do we just go? So Jack backed off. Clara and Ho are still here. I feel like we're invincible. Are the doors open yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all three doors are open now. This is open. This is open. And that is open. Alright, so I guess I get to move on. And there doesn't seem to be anything in our way right now. So... Yeah. So that was interesting. Uh, Gato being Papa is not the biggest yeah. reveal. All right, time to go home. <laughs> I feel like we're nah, 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 nah. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me just swap to. I'm ready for what's. Let to me come. swap to Jack so I can talk Let's about go. it. Okay, so Gato being Papa isn't that big of a deal. But it's not the worst twist in the world. Okay. Uh, Pyre. I mean, I should have I, I, I should have guessed from the hair, but since they were in different teams and you don't really see Gato all that much, it's like it's hard to make that connection. So I guess I guess it's fine. Uh, also, now that we've caught Gato, why doesn't he just collapse the whole tower like he did in the bad end? I mean, he clearly has the power to just collapse the tower. Why did he do it now? Oh, like, we answered the correct questions, therefore now we have plot armor. Answering wrong removes your plot armor. That's probably what it is, right? So I'll keep going. I don't think, uh, I don't think we're done yet. I think we still have some time left in the episode. Um, yeah, I'll just see you guys once we probably take a look at the nightmare. Uh, we're not getting to floor 8 today i know i know that this tower ends in floor eight but i just want to see if we have any more story points before uh ending the episode so this is probably not the last episode uh i'll see you guys when i run into something interesting all right so that opens the door for toe 
Um, I've been hearing the nightmare. They're here. I can do I'll this. Do this. And I kind of wanna. Whoa! I found an item. I kind of wanna run in. I kind of wanna run into it to fight it. And this is another switch. It opened. What was that? Oh, that must be the exit. Yeah, yeah, that must be the exit. So that, cause uh, Let's hurry up. if you've played this game before, you know that Mary Skelter likes making you go through the entire maze, and then put the most convenient <laughs> path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's the end. So the most convenient path is actually the the exit is just right here. All right, on this floor we have arrows and Time bread to portals. Put it to use. Time to put it to yeah. Use. Time to put it to use. You need an arrow to shoot that and you need and you need a bread portal to get through it. Oh boy. Okay. First strike. Good. My turn. So now it's the same enemies we've been fighting but green. <laughs> Alright, so the switches are are for the entire area. So now I can't go back. But time to put it to use. I can move time forward. To put it to use. Okay. Harmonic sword, too bad. You know, swords are great no. in general Fire. in this game, but they're not the best. I wonder how we can move on. Which is usually, you know, it, it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right. So Clara can't move anymore. That's it. Uh, the fifth floor is pretty small, actually. Thankfully, if there's something I'm happy about. In finale, the tower floors didn't isn't super massive. Cause in um, Mary Skelter even near. one, let's go. When you get to the final tower, the floors are just huge. I can hear the nightmare, but I can't see it. And I think this should open Jack. We can go through now. What did that open? I don't think that opened anything on screen. Yeah, 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 I don't think it opened anything on screen. I'm so glad. It might be something I need it's something I need to run to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was that door. Am I right? Yep, okay. So it was something that <laughs> Oh, Mary Skelter. Yeah, but so technically I should have used Cinderella's running thing there. But... Meh, you don't really need to. What is a Master Nova? Master Nova? Oh, it's a bomb. Oh, well. No one uses bombs here. Alright, and this should open something else? Oh, fine. I'll do as the game wants me to. Whatever that is. Ah, shit. Oh my god. Okay, did I get did I get through? Yeah, 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 I got through. But I missed the... <laughs> I missed the shortcut. It's fine. The shortcut should be right here. Yeah, okay. And we can open this one. Nice. Alright, so I came back here and we have an event at the rescue center for some reason. So let's go. See what that's about. What? Whoa, I heard that all the way from here. What happened? What are you saying? <laughs> Sister, you can't just say that. Are you two dating? It's Miko, Michiro, and Chiaki. Bad things happen when they're all together. Like I said, I hope we could be friends. Friends, do you know what that means? Mm, I don't think there's a meaning to friendship. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean there's no meaning to friendship? Uh, looks like Nika's in a bad mood. Miss Ueshima, my sister means no harm. She is merely trying to make peace. That's the issue here. Don't you get why there's bad blood? I thought you guys worked for Snark, did they? I don't think they did, did they? 
But the Order of the Sun no longer concerns us. Look at the state of things now. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Miss Ueshima, forgive my sister for her confusing words, but she is no liar. So I hope there's no hard feelings. And you with your sister complex. Oh no, they are dating. I want to be more like you, Miko. I want to see the world through your eyes. You mean with glasses? <laughs> you admire me. Do you not respect me, Miko? You're a mystery. Respect is earned, not given. And friendship is something else entirely. I see. That's unfortunate for me. Uh, I'll give it a second thought. Just leave me be. Miko, thank you. Maybe there's hope for them yet. Miko seems quietly pleased. What? Did we run out of a hallway and now we just have a re now we just have a rescue center? We're out of hallways. The end is near. This battle means more for our more than our fate. It's for the fate of mankind. <laughs> so it seems. Doesn't feel like it. We'll be fine. You were all born from hope. And books. And literature. If a lady Ohimi says so, it must be true. My sister has faith in Jack and the girls. They've overcome so much. That must bode well for the future. Thanks, Chiaki. I appreciate it. <laughs> Man, look at us now, Jack. Yeah, who knew what awaited us outside of jail? You mean another jail? Several other jails, in fact. Seriously, we've come so far. All four of us. Right? I remember. Z, 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 z. Crazy to think about how the four of us started in that tiny cell. Seriously? Right back at you, if only Hikari was here. Well, she's technically right there. She's looking a lot better. Hopefully it means she'll wake soon. Has she not been eating this whole time? Then again, she is an angel. With that said, let's do this thing. Yeah. Miko, Michiro, Chiaki, we couldn't have done it without you guys, too. We couldn't? Fairly sure we could. Thank you. I wonder how Gato feels about everything. Wow, way to leave it till the end. You make it seem like we're marching to our deaths. Haha, <laughs> spoiler alert. But it's touching, so you'd better thank us again when it's all over. Okay. Feels like we've known each other for ages, Jack. Seems like just yesterday that we chatted about the sun. Right, time sure has flown. Your friendship is the reason we made it this far. But you had a hand in it too, Chiaki. Let's pray for more good fortune. Ichiro, hi! Right, agreed, sister. Well, time to stop Gato. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, well, it's time to stop Gato. I, I know there's not much time, but don't rush. We're ready to set out when you are. Okay. Call it fate. Call it whatever. But somehow, we made it. In the end, I'm just a blood youth. I can only do so much. But I need to make the most of this chance. Everyone taught me this. I'll do the best I can with my limits. Yes, definitely. We're here with you, Jack. Okay. So what was that? Was it just to tie up loose ends with Chiaki and... Well, I guess you haven't seen them most of the game, so I guess it's just to tie up some loose ends. <laughs> really? That's how you look? I'm uneasy, by the way. Come with me. I'm uneasy because I'm just exploring, so I just ran into it randomly. So they really are just a bunch of TVs glued. Oh, they also have the weapons. There's guillotine, there's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all the weapons, a bunch of TVs. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, their legs are sticking out the bottom. Oh, that's actually kind of sad for them. That's actually kind of depressing. This is the wrong way. Yeah, that's actually kind of depressing. I'm so glad. They're like... What what did Gato do? Okay, you three stand here. I'm gonna glue the, all this stuff together on you. That's kind of sad, honestly. That's. I mean, I know there are enemies and everything, but it's like kind of a fate worse than death. Well, not really, but. Super blood 
Well, actually, no, it is. Would you want to be stuck together with your sisters? And television? I wouldn't. Switch for... I heard something. Clara. All right, so... I think I'm gonna end the stream... Oh, not stream. End the video here. Uh, I'm getting too used to streaming. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. There doesn't seem to be anything... Here I go. Upcoming for now. Yeah, it's just long hallways again. So... I expect that... As I said a while ago, I expect that the next episode is going to be the last episode. I don't think there's anything more I hidden started. here. Come with me. Hang on, I'm talking here, Prepare game. Yourself. My turn. Let's retreat. Yeah, it's just gonna be. Here I go. It's just gonna be a fight to the eighth floor, I believe. So yeah, Clara's door is open up here. Toe is waiting behind this door, and this is the fourth floor map in its entirety. Though I am kind of missing this door. I wonder what this door is about. But yeah. For now, let's leave it there. So if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like and subscribe. This has been Caffeine Fight Gaming. And I'll see you guys next time on the last episode of Mary Skelter Finale.